So today I'm going to make a video about pruning my plumerias for the wind. So we had a horrible windstorm and a lot of my plumerias kind of bent over and they were being all nasty. So what I do, and by all means I am no plumeria expert, but I have really bad Santa Ana winds where I'm at. There's really no protection for these ones. So what I do is I trim my plumerias and I'll show a video of how but I leave this part on because I don't want them to lose a lot of the moisture inside the plumeria and then as these get dry they kind of fall off it's still a little bit breezy but nothing like it was before so let's go in the yard and trim some other ones so this is where my box turtles and my redfoot tortoises are this gigantic hibiscus plant kind of stops the wind from hurting the plumerias that are way in the back. So I never have to prune them. But this one here, I'll have to prune. I've already done some of them that were on the other side, but I had to climb on this side to get these ones. So pretty much all I do is I come up here and I just start Cutting the leaves away, just a leaf. And they grow back, they're gonna fall off themselves anyway. So I'm not really too devastated about it. But it's gonna protect the whole thing from cracking and falling over. Cause that is what happens is these get so lengthy and I need to cut them so this April I'm gonna cut a lot of these because you can see how like here is previous windstorms have broke these guys off right here and it makes it all nasty cut so I'm hoping they'll start to come back a little bit but all my plumerias are really long and then they get the flower way up here so if I cut it I know I'll get more arms it's just I don't know why, but I always freak out about cutting plumeria, which really should be no big deal. Everybody does it. But um, then they start getting this weird shape and they start going all these weird directions. So like this one here, if I cut this arm off, I could have like five foot plumeria with already three arms on it. So I'm going to make a video of doing that. But you can see how they get real heavy and then they go that way. And they lean on the fence. All of mine kind of do that and I'll show you another one on the other side of the yard where it actually like the whole plant fell over in the wind and I've never really fixed it up so it went all the way down to the ground and came back up but for this guy all I'm gonna do and I've got some these are uh, boysenberry bushes here too so I got to be real careful I don't mess those up but I just come in here and I just start like I said clipping off the leaves and that helps with the wind because the wind just demolishes these plants. It's so fast and so heavy here and they'll all come back. But see they don't milk too much as if they would if I were to just yank the whole leaf off. I mean they milk a little bit but not too bad. I hear turtles behind me. Somebody wants to chew on my toes, I can feel it. Let's see. And this is all I do in the winter. I just stop. They look ugly, sad, but um, I didn't think about it. So I guess the moral of the story is figure out a good place to plant these when you start, or else you're probably going to have to do something like this. And like I said, this one is hidden behind this big giant hibiscus. I mean, this thing's like 20 feet tall, probably higher. But as you can see, this plumeria is doing great. I never have to do anything with the leaves. Just, it's natural. It flowers. It seeds. I just let it be. Um, only one time when this hibiscus was smaller did I lose one branch right here. And then these ones I actually cut myself to try to get new ones. They didn't grow new ones, but um, they gave me some new arms. So that was good. But like this one I don't have to mess with. 
this one I don't have to mess with because they are nice and protected with the wind. But now I'll, oh, and I got some babies here. These ones, um, this is the white one I had. This one's a baby, and then this one is a purchased one. So they're protected too. I got smarter as I as I went along. But let me show you the other ones that I'm talking about. So this is one of my original first ones. And this one broke off in the wind. And it got me a big branch. But then you see how they... I just, after it got so wiggly and weird, I was like, hmm, let's just see how weird this thing gets. So the whole plant is slumped over to the side. There's the branch. And then it kind of does this whole lean over. And this one comes all the way down to the ground to here. And it all flowers. It looks beautiful. I mean, it, it looks more bushy than anything. I don't even know if this thing like roots itself to the ground. I don't know. It's just laying there on the ground. But because it got so crazy, like once you cut them off, the actual branch is so twisted that trying to get it to stand up straight, if I put it straight into the ground, it's like a 90 degree angle. So that one is just going to be what it is.